Um, back to philosophy on return. A lot of this is theoretically old news. Um, we implore you to read what it is that we're sending out and to follow back on social media. Um, we, we shared recently a couple things that you might be interested in. Oh, uh, we didn't, we changed the setting so people can scribble on the thing, huh? Whoever's scribbling <laughs> on the thing, don't scribble on it. Um, so uh, there was a Sports Illustrated article that was great. It was like all of these 2016 Olympians, you know, the defending medalist in the 100 breaststroke was until recently driving 45 minutes to swim in a pond, like literally a like eight feet deep, hundred or so yard long pond with like frogs and turtles and everything. Um, the picture here is, is Coach Sydney. Um, it's a great video. Watch that. Her story is essentially that she spent two years swimming for USC, um, transferred to UW, but in the process of transferring was forced to take about five months away completely from the sport. Um, so she talks a little bit about it. It's broken into two videos, talks about her return to the sport, how she treated herself, um, and the fact that that year after her five-month absence was the pinnacle of her, of her college career. It was the best year she had swimming-wise. Um, we also put out a, a document on, oops, excuse me, uh, the philosophy around getting back. And there were four main points there, right? Um, and, and if you've read it, hopefully you've read it. If not, I actually did video summaries of them as well. Um, so, you know, hopefully everybody took the time to at least watch those. I know you haven't though, and I know your kids haven't. And the reason is um, I wrote an email to the pre-senior group um, or the group that was supposed to be pre-senior um, last week. And it sort of lit them up a little bit because I, I talked to two of them that were wondering about what should I do because I can swim some laps. So I said, call me and we'll talk about it. And so I said, so first of all, did you read that article or the thing I wrote? And they said, no. And I said, did you at least watch the videos? Because I made five 40-second videos, very easily digestible for your generation. And they said, kind of. I said, how do you kind of watch a video? And then they said, no. So I know the kids aren't watching this. And I know that they haven't read it. So if you haven't and they haven't, do it. It'll take you five minutes. It's great. Um, but it's all about, you know, we want to approach this as an opportunity. We want to change the mindset. We lost so much time out of our sport. COVID has had so many negative impacts on society. There's nothing we can do about all that. We're focused on coming back and coming back and, and uh, viewing it as an opportunity to get better and sort of start from scratch, right? We've never been given a fresh, fresh start like this. Um, so shifting your perspective, um, looking at things long-term. We preach long-term all the time, but it's so hard to get kids to buy into long-term when they have a meet they're excited about in 10 days. We, we'll talk about this more later, but we don't know when the next meet is. Um, so this is the perfect time to, um, to really be focused on our, on our long-term development. Prioritize your pool time. Obviously, you know, we're in the water with 250 kids right now, which just blows pretty much any program I've heard of in the entire, certainly the entire state, but maybe the greater Midwest. We blow them out of the water right now with the access we're able to get and the number of kids we're able to get programming for. Um, but it's not as much pool time as you're used to. It's not as much pool time as you'd like. So what we're preaching to the kids on deck is to make every single stroke count. The dumbest possible thing your kid can do is to show up to practice, swim back and forth like a lap swimmer trying to get exercise and go home. We need to be hyper-focused on every single thing we're doing. Um, and then adjust your training, right? This is not the time of your swimmer's career where we're going to be focused on uh, trying to get the maximum amount of yardage or how fast can you go 10 100s on 120. It's going to be about working your underwaters, working your overall strength, your flexibility, your technique, your skills, your habits. Um, so please take the time to read that. And if you don't follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, please do so.